so you are watching this video which means you are so serious about learning subject as you shown your, your extreme interest on vedic maths i am going to teach you a more deep of the concept so in this video i am going to talk about finding a squares by using the base method so in squares as i mentioned in my previous video there are eight to nine methods right out of eight to nine methods this is one of the one of the method so finding a squares by using the base method suppose if i if i take if i want to find 94 whole square how to do that 94 is nearby base number any any which base number 10 or 100 or 1000 so 94 is nearby 100 so by using the base number 94 compare 94 and 100 100 minus 6 94 I'm, I'm finding squares step 1 step 1 6 square that is 36 step 2 94 minus 6 94 minus 6 is 88 please cross check step 1 6 square 36 step 2 94 minus 6 88 simple answer right by using the base number i am teaching you simple problems to make you understand to show you the power of vedic maths it's a 96 whole square 96 whole square 100 minus 4 minus 4 whole square 16 step 1 step 1 minus 4 whole square 16 step 2 94 minus 4 sorry 96 minus 4 96 minus 4 is 92 is the answer simple one step this is which is highly difficult to do any mathematician except the Vedic math teacher 96 whole square people will do 100 minus 4 whole plus b whole square formula so and so many things they do right yes or no 96 if I give you 96 whole square what people will do 8th class students they will write 100 minus 4 whole square then a minus b whole square formula how difficult it is and how how easy we are solving with Vedic maths next next 92 whole square 92 again the mind base 100 100 minus 8 minus 8 whole square minus 8 whole square 64 92 minus 8 will give you 84 one step next next if i want to do it next 1 1 0 7 whole square if i take 107 now this is also base 100 only but if you observe it's the above the base so if you didn't watch my base method videos there are three videos in the base method please watch those three videos and come back here so that you'll understand what i'm doing it right now here right 107 107 is 100 plus 7 7 plus 7 whole square 49 107 plus 7 whole square 49 step 2 step 2 will going to be 107 plus 7 107 plus 7 114 simple i hope you are feeling simple you don't need to write this step we can write directly everything in the mind 108 whole square 8 square 64 108 plus 8 116 one zero uh, seven 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 we done one zero six whole square six whole square thirty six one zero six plus six one one two I hope I'm doing faster calculations I hope yes one zero nine whole square one zero nine whole square nine square is eighty one 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 nine one zero nine plus nine one one eight is the answer clear so let's go little deeper okay little deeper if you know up to 20 tables you can do it 80 to 80 to 120 also let me do it uh, 1 
1, 2 whole square. Okay, if you know 20 tables, you can do it. 1, 1, 2 whole square plus 12. Plus 12 whole square is 144. So write down the 144. And 1, 1, 2 plus 12, 124. We need to do balancing rule. Why? Simple. Right hand side, we had 144. According to the base rule. What is the base rule? The number of digits in the base the number of digits in the right hand side should be equal to the number of zeros in the base. So please watch the base method third video. You'll understand the rule. Right? So according to the rule, we need to carry forward this rule. 1, 1 plus 124, 125, double 4. So if you, if you didn't watch that video, I'm writing the formula here. Okay? I am writing the formula here. Please copy the formula. Very important formula to make you understand this problem. Okay. According to, according to base rule. One minute. I am writing the formula. Okay. According to base rule. The number of digits in the right hand side. The number of digits in the right hand side answer is equals to the number of zeros in the base which means 100 is the base so right hand side only two digits should be there because 100 is the base how many digits we have three digits carry forward answer come once you learn the concept simple once you learn the rules and concepts everything is easy got it so simple let's say 1, 1, 3 whole square plus 13, right? Plus 13 is nothing but simple. 13 whole square, 169. We learned balancing rule. We learned balancing rule. Sorry, we learned balancing rule and we learned base rule. So 13 whole square, 13 whole square is 169, right? So 169, so write on the 16 in the answer. Okay, that is 69, six, uh, 69 in the answer. One will be carry, one carry in the mind. So 113 plus 13, 126. 126, one is carrying 127. Can you solve like this? If you know 20 tables, you can solve like this in one step. Let me do it 116 whole square. Let me do it 116 whole square. 1, 1, 6 whole square. So, what is 16 whole square? 256. So, 256. No need to write everything. 256. 56 write down the answer because we need to have only 2 digits. 56. 2, you need to keep in the mind. So, 116 plus 16, 132. We already keep 2 in the mind. 134. Clear? One step. I am getting the answer. Hope you understood by using the base number solving it. See, by using base 100, we can do it. Base 10, we can do it. Base 50, we can do it. Base 70, we can do it. Base 120, we can do it. Base any number. Base 350, 360, 370, 420, 450, 460, 660, 670. Any number, as by considering the reference number, we can do it in one step. Every number is possible. But the thing is, Fundamentals should be strong. You need to learn fundamentals. That's what I'm going to teach you in my paid coaching program. If you like the video, if you understood the video, please get into my live coaching program. Join my coaching program. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot. See you in the next. See you in the live course. See you in the paid course. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching this video.